It's so good to see Brittany in the sunshine like that. It's so good to see the sunshine here. You're looking live from our radar tower and you're looking to the west here, obviously in Vance with the setting sun. The point is there's almost no clouds where there are clouds. There's no vertical development and that indicates we're changing weather patterns and we're doing it pretty dramatically this afternoon. The only chance of a shower is over the eastern counties this evening and the flash flood watch has now been canceled completely by the National Weather Service. So we're definitely moving in the right direction. No question about that. On the WVTM 13 live Doppler, you may be surprised by all this green. It's just ground clutter. It's not real. I do think a couple showers will form over the east this evening. Could be Talladega County, maybe Calhoun, Cleburne County, perhaps Etowa or Cherokee, but nothing widespread and nothing that should last all that long. Temperature wise, not too bad. 79 at Coleman, 79 at Haydenville, 81 in Birmingham and Alabaster, 83 degrees in Clanton, 82 in Anniston. It's going to be a pleasant evening outside. Skies overhead will become mostly clear from west to east. Your 12 hour forecast looking like this. Just 10% rain chances at 7 and 9, and that's for the eastern counties. Overnight tonight, mostly clear skies, but it's a long October night. The ground, as we all know, is saturated, so I do think there'll be some fog late tonight and first thing tomorrow morning, and it could be dense in places, could be a factor. Short term model forecast will show a few of those little showers over the east. Here's one over Cherokee County, one in Talladega County, maybe one in Bibb County. As we go forward in time, they'll tend to go away and move eastward into Georgia, so most of us will have a rain free evening. Importantly, the areas that got so flooded yesterday evening, they will be dry tonight. And as we go into the day tomorrow, I just don't see anything bad. Once that morning fog burns off, we're going to have plenty of sunshine during the day. Very nice conditions, highs in the low 80s. And that's the kind of weather we're going to have for days, it looks like, right through the Columbus Day weekend and beyond. Seven day forecast tomorrow then, definitely drying out. 82 the high temperature. Saturday and Sunday look fantastic. Highs in the mid 80s. It won't be very cool for this time of the year. It'll be kind of warm. Monday, Columbus Day looks nice too. Maybe by next Thursday a shower, but between now and then, the dry weather will continue, and that is such good news.